Hello and welcome to my Tarot Corner. So in this reading, I'm going to do uh, the opposite than I usually do. And I'm going to start with an Oracle card. And this is an Angel card. And what uh, this reading is about the award that the Sussexes uh, are about to or getting this week uh, for Archwell's help for Af Afghan refugees. Uh, what exactly was their help? I don't know. I understand that they did con contribute some money, but Archwell Foundation itself did not make a lot of money this year, so I don't know how much money they could get. Yet, but still they are getting this award and they are not going to even come to get that award but they are sending the current CEO of uh, Archwell to go and get the, the award and my feeling is that they feel that New York is not so welcoming for them anymore so I'm going to first take a, an angel card, and this is a, the message from the universe about this. So uh, I'm starting with clearing the deck. Okay, so what message does the universe have about the award that Archwell is getting for Afghan refugees' help? What message does the universe have to tell us about the award uh, for F, for Arch, to Archwell about for helping Afghan refugees. And the card that I'm getting is Archangel Amethyst. Purify your life with love. Prepare for something better. Now, this is advice for us, as I am saying now, I'm not asking for their advice. So this is what the universe has to tell us. It tells us to uh, purify our lives and prepare for something better because something better is coming. And I see that in all of my readings today, uh, despite the fact that I'm very, very agitated, as you can all probably feel. And now I'm using the uh, Broken Mirror uh, Tarot to see the consequences of, this, of giving this award to the Sussexes. So just finish this shuffle. and clear the deck. Okay, so what are the consequences of the Sussexes getting an award for Afghan refugees? What are the, the consequences of the Sussexes getting another award that they do not deserve? What are the consequences of Archwell getting an award for Afghan refugees? Okay, so the first card is a card that shows us what led for them to get that award. And the card that I'm getting is the devil. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised because the devil is the reason why they are getting this award. They are conniving, they are lying. This is a card of darkness. This is a card that shows us that what led for them to get the award is not the purity of their heart. This is not the achievements of their uh, foundation. This is all the devil's work. This is about darkness, about neglect, about being carried away. So this is about someone who is willing to uh, sell their uh, soul to the devil and someone who is uh, really ready to pay for an award. So this is the reason, this is the past uh, events. Now, the current situation. The current situation is 
the two of swords. So once again, this is the third time that I'm getting the two of swords this in today. And once again, we see people that are unable to see reality as it is. So they are buying an award. They are uh, uh, finding ways of getting this uh, Uh, respect that they do not actually deserve and they are not seeing reality as it is because we see right through them so we already know that the everything that they are doing is a uh, malicious that it is all connected to the uh, the devil energy so and they are just a uh, completely neglecting The, that uh, we that we see reality they are not seeing reality as it is and because of that they keep on doing mistakes they keep on doing things that only cause scrutiny and only uh, make people not uh, like them because uh, the more that they do that the more enemies they accumulate and they just do not realize that because they are still in that energy of the two of swords and that will only lead them to the three of swords okay so what led to this uh, current situation what led to them being in this uh, inability to see reality and what I'm getting here is the six of cups and the six of cups as I always tell you that's a very good card actually but when it comes after the devil and the two of swords it is badly aspected so when it is badly aspected it shows us that they are not learning from past mistakes that they are still in the past they still believe that they have the clout that they had before they left the royal family or even just right after they left the royal family they are unable to see reality as it is this is a card of someone who is uh, living in a fantasy world someone who runs away from reality so this energy of the six of cups of someone who is living in a fantasy world someone who is unable to uh, to face reality as it is uh, led to being in the two of swords uh, uh, energy which is even worse position of not being able to see reality as it is this is even uh, uh, this is in, in a place that you may need to make a choice and the choice that they made was the bad choice they sold themselves they sold uh, their uh, soul to the devil and uh, this is exactly what led to the uh, devil energy so it started with Uh, this uh, world of fantasy world of believing that uh, they will have the same clout as they did when they left the royal family of believing that they are more important than the royal family of believing that they can utilize their titles in order to get uh, fame to get publicity and they are still doing that and when you read revenge and this is one thing that I I did write in my community page I finished the book the last few chapters were so irritating I mean you see how the palace and especially Edward young who was the replacement of a uh, Christopher gate uh, uh, was not a uh, I don't know if he wasn't intelligent enough or he wasn't uh, aware enough to realize the damage that they were uh, causing the royal family and the firm as and the monarchy uh, he wasn't he wasn't quick enough and uh, the, that's that's the reason why the palace always reacted uh, in a lag after they already got their success let's say that way okay so we see people that are living in this world of fantasies and unable to face reality that causes them to be in this very uh, hard place of the need to make a choice and because they cannot see reality as it is they are unable to cope and they are making the right wrong choice and they are selling themselves to the devil okay so What can we see for the future? What can we see for the consequences of giving them this award? And we get the Knight of Cups. So the consequences of the giving them that award is to cultivate 
their fantasies because the Knight of Cups is the fantasizer. So as of the fantasizers, the fantasizer, he is just a, someone who lives this in this dream world and unable to cooperate with reality and because of that he misses opportunities. So they are getting those awards and they believe that they deserve those awards and this is only cultivating their world of fantasies. This is not helping them to get out of that world of fantasies. So let's see uh, what is blocking them and what is blocking them is the Ten of Cups. Okay, so the, the only good card, real good card in this reading is coming in the place of block. And the Ten of Cups is a great card. This is a card of wishes coming true. But when it comes in the negative as, uh, aspect, and it is in the negative aspect because first of all, it is the blockage, and then it comes after all of those negative cards that came before. So the Ten of Cups is about uh, aspirations that are not being met. This is about difficulty to accept that life is not perfect and the, uh, the inability to accept that not all wishes can come true. So this is only cultivating their fantasies. And uh, this is something that, uh, I, I don't know, but charities especially need to be very careful before they give them a stage, before they give them uh, the ability to uh, perform and to be there because this is not helping the charity from one end and this is only cultivating their fantasies and as long as they are still getting those awards that they are buy, uh, buying and paying for then this is only going to get worse so unfortunately for us what I can say is to prepare for something better because something better will come Something better will come, it, it will just take time. It won't be so quickly as we would all expect. But when that time comes, I think that I will have to change the complete concept of this channel, but I hope that I will have that, uh, uh, that reason. Okay, so this is it for this reading. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.